हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम विवेक शर्मा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी टुडे आई एम हेयर टू प्रेजेंट ए लेक्चर ऑन बेसिक प्रोग्रामिंग कॉन्सेप्ट एक्चुअली देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज फर्स्ट वन इज हाई लेवल लैंग्वेज एंड सेकेंड वन इज लो लेवल लैंग्वेज वट डू मीन बाय हाई लेवल लैंग्वेज लैंग्वेज विच इज ईजी टू रीड ईजी टू राइट एंड ईजी टू अंडरस्टूड are called high level language it means language by by user can easily read easily write and easy to understand for example cobol pascal basic are high level language second one is low level language language which in the form of zero ones are called low level language zeros and ones there are two types of low level language first one is assembly language and second one machine language in case of assembly language all motherboard coding or intel processor, uh, processor coding in the forms of assembly language and machine language in the forms of zeros and one both high level and low level each language has unique features यूर कैन ईजिली रीड हाई लेवल लैंग्वेज मशीन कैन ईजिली रीड लो लेवल लैंग्वेज तो देर इज थर्ड टाइप ऑफ लैंग्वेज दैट इज कॉल्ड मिडिल लेवल लैंग्वेज लैंग्वेज विच कंटेन बेस्ट फीचर्स ऑफ हाई लेवल एज वेल एज लो लेवल इज कॉल्ड मिडिल लेवल लैंग्वेज वेरी पॉपुलर एग्जाम्पल मिडिल लैंग्वेज सी सी प्लस प्लस जावा एंड डॉट नेट are example of middle level language now we are discussing primary data types it includes integer float and character these are three primary data types integer means without decimal for example 2 20 are called integer data types float means which contain decimal part फ्रैक्शनल पार्ट 3.14, 9.86 पॉइंट वन फोर कैरेक्टर मीन सिंगल कैरेक्टर ए सी डी दी आर टू प्रिंट इंटीरियर डेट एप्स वी ऑलवेज यूज फॉर्मेट स्पेसिफायर परसेंटेज डी इन सी प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज इन केस ऑफ फ्लोट वी यूज फॉर्मेट स्पेसिफायर परसेंटेज एफ इन केस ऑफ कैरेक्टर वी यूज फॉर्मेट स्पेसिफायर परसेंटेज सी दी आर द थ्री पॉपुलर डेट टाइप्स विच आर You it in all programming language. Here we discussing integer and float conversion. Suppose first input is integer, and second input is also integer. Then output will be always integer in case of C programming language. For example, suppose two and four both are integer. If we add two plus four, then it gives eight. Eight is integer. 2 divided by 4 in mathematics it gives 0.5 but in c programming language decimal part is always truncate in case of integer integer so it gives 0 this is the key point of integer and integer data type <coughs> second one suppose first input is integer and second input is float then output will be float it means if n numbers of inputs are integer and n numbers of inputs are float the combination of integer and float always gives float we take simple example 2 is integer and 2.5 is a float then if we multiply 2 into 2.5 it gives 5 in mathematics but in case of c programming it gives 5.0 because of definition we are taking another example 2.5 Plus 2.5, it gives 5.0, not 5. This is the key point between integer and float data type. Third and last, suppose first input is float, and second input is also float. Then output will be float. Suppose 2.5. And two point five, it gives 
5.0 by using float float. It is generally used when all the inputs are float. Now we are discussing operators. Operators are symbols which are generally used to perform operation. We have different different types of operators available in C programming language. We are discussing here primary operators. First one is arithmetic operators. It includes plus, minus, multiply, divide, modulus, plus, plus and minus, minus. First four are very basic operators, plus, minus, multiply, divide. It is actually work on the basis of mathematics. But fifth one is modulus operator. Here we are discussing modulus operator. These are very important operators which are frequently used in all programming language, but we are discussing modulus on the basis of C programming basis, modulus. The symbol of modulus is percentage sign. The first property of modulus operator, it gives always remainder, it gives remainder. It means, suppose we have 4, mode 3, it gives 1. Second key property of modulus operator is the output sign always depends on numerator sign. Suppose minus 4 modulus minus 3. In this case, first we module 4 mod 3, it gives 1. The output numerator sign is minus, so that output will be minus 1. Clear? Third one. If numerator value is less than denominator value, suppose 4 modulus 5, then output will be numerator, 4 will be output. These are three primary properties of modulus operator in C programming language. We are discussing, we are revising once again. First one, it, according to property, it gives remainder, 4 mod 3, 1. Second property, output sign always depends on numerator sign, minus 4 modulus minus 3. Here, first we divide 4 mod 3, it gives 1, then numerator is minus, so output will be minus 1. Next one, if numerator value is less than denominator value, then output will be numerator. And last one, it always works with entire data types only. It means, if suppose we are working 5.0 modulus 2.5, it gives error. Because in C and C++, it does not work with float value. Second key operator in an arithmetic is increment and decrement. First we are discussing here increment operator. There are two types of increment operator. First one is pre-increment and second one is post-increment. Pre means before. The symbol of pre and post both are similar, plus plus sign. But in case of pre-increment, first symbol, then variable, A or B. In case of post, first variable, then symbol. Now we are taking example of increment operator or pre-increment operator. Suppose we have two variables A and B, value of A is 3, in this case value of A is 3 and value of B is, in this case garbage, 
फर्स्ट प्री इंक्रीमेंट हेयर प्लस प्लस ए इट विल इंक्रीज वैल्यू ऑफ ए बाय डिफॉल्ट वन बाय डिफॉल्ट वन इट मीन्स थ्री प्लस वन दैट इज फोर देन दिस इज अर्थमेटिक ऑपरेटर देन प्लस प्लस ए वंस अगेन प्री इंक्रीमेंट इज ऑल्सो हेयर इन दिस केस वैल्यू ऑफ ए इज वंस अगेन इंक्रीमेंटेड बाय वन ना वैल्यू ऑफ ए इज फाइव नाउ कंडीशन बिकम्स बी असाइनमेंट ए प्लस ए इट मीन्स फाइव प्लस फाइव इट गिव्स टेन एंड टेन विल यू स्टोर इन साइड टू बी देन आउटपुट विल बी ए एंड बी वैल्यू ऑफ एज नाउ फाइव एंड वैल्यू ऑफ बी इज नाउ टेन नाउ वी आर टेकिंग एनदर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ प्री In this case, once again, value of age now three, and value of B is garbage. Here, we are three times value of age incremented. That is pre-incremented plus plus A multiply plus plus A multiply plus plus A. So in every statement, first incremented is done. Then any other operation will be performed. In this case, first value of age incremented once. Then now age four. This is completed. Second time, plus plus once again. Now value of age five. This symbol work done. Third one plus plus. Now a becomes six. Now statement will be B assignment a multiply a multiply a six into six into six. That is two one six. So value of a is now six and value of B is two hundred sixteen. This is the best example of pre-increment. Now we are taking another example of post-increment. Post means after. We have two variables a and b. Value of a three and b nothing. And suppose we are performing a plus plus. In this case, post post increment is performed after the completion of the statement. So first value of a will be stored into b. It means value of b now three. When control goes to next line, value of a is incremented by one. Now a becomes four. So our rule will be four for a and Three for B. This is the primary difference between pre-increment and post-increment. Now we are taking another example. In this case, this is the post-increment, and this is once again post-increment. So none of the operation occur. First A plus A. It means three plus three. It gives six, and six will be stored inside B. When control passes to next line, value of age increment once and second. Now value of age now four and five. So output will be age five and B six. Thank you all of you for more watching videos. Please like, comments, and share my lecture. Thank you.